Twice's I Got You music video is perhaps one of the most poetic and beautiful music videos that I have ever seen because of all of the hidden meaning and messaging behind it. In fact, in this video, I think there are actually three different versions of Twice. Twice existing in the past, present, and future, with all of the members being tied together by the red string of fate. It's extremely poetic, and in this video you can see how close the members are together with each other, and it's just so touching. So let's do a deep dive into this music video and talk about what they're really trying to show us with the video and with the lyrics. Also, this is my own personal interpretation and perspective. I really encourage you to have your own, and let me know what yours is in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Now, with the lyrics, there are really three main paths that you could take as far as interpretation goes. One is that with the lyrics, you got me, I got you, it's very touching and of course one interpretation could be you're talking to a lover, right? Maybe not even a lover, but somebody that you just care deeply about, that could be a friend. Another interpretation could be that they are talking to once. I'm a huge once, I'm a huge twice fan and it's a nice thought to think that once has their back, they have once's back, that's also a beautiful notion. But what I think is really happening here is they are talking to each other. They're specifically talking about each other's journey being twice and how they are all tied together by that red string of fate. So if you're unfamiliar with what the red string of fate is, it is beautiful. The myth and the tale of the red string of fate is pretty much kind of how it sounds. It's a red string that ties two people destined to be each other's true love together. In the original Chinese myth, the red string is tied to each person's ankle, while in Japanese culture, the red string is tied to the male's thumb and the female's pinky. But in Korean culture, it is tied to both people's little fingers. And we can see that throughout all of this trailer if you look very closely. So basically what you need to know is the red string ties two people together who are destined to be each other's true love. And what's interesting is that in the folklore, the string can get tied up, it can be in a knot, it can get tangled, but no matter what, it never breaks, ever. This is basically the concept of having a destined soulmate. And twice is saying in this video that they are all each other's soulmates. Beautiful. And as we can see, all throughout this music video, we can see that all the members are tied together and have the red string of fate on their pinky. In fact, in the very beginning, of the music video, you can actually see Mina drawing the red string of fate on other members. And we can see that all of the members do indeed have them through various different shots. And in the case of the pre-chorus with Dion and Momo, we can see a literal red string that is wrapped around both of them. But notice how when they dance, the string expands, it gets a little tangled, but it still wraps around both of them because they are destined for each other. And all throughout the trailer, we can see that the members are pretty much entangled with each other. We can even see Nyon and Geo literally with their little fingers wrapped around each other with the red string of fate around their pinkies. Now, as I mentioned, I believe that there are three points in time in this music video or three different versions of Twice existing in the past, present, and future. The first one is when Twice, when all of the members are inside the boat, underneath the boat, underneath the deck, inside of it. This could be interpreted as the past. This could be interpreted as the start of their journey as Twice. And if you're not familiar with Twice's journey, I did a video on it about their whole entire story. You should definitely check that out. But as the lyrics say, they were lightning from the start, and they really were. From 16 to like, ooh, ah, TT, cheer up, they exploded. But just because they exploded and had great success right away doesn't mean that there weren't hardships. So in the beginning, when they're beneath the boat, below the deck, they're going through hardships. This could be hardships in the past and some that they are currently facing right now. This is represented via the storm outside. It's very dark, you can't see anything, it's just black, it's raining, the waves are going crazy, and they're below inside the boat for safety, for shelter. So this basically signifies the hard times that they have gone through, but notice something really, really awesome. During this time when they're below deck, they're together and having a great time. They are literally together, so what's so bad about it, right? If they're together, they can make it through, which is one of the major points of this song in general. And notice in this scene, when they're underneath the boat, they're all together, the storm is happening outside, but they're all entangled with each other in some way, shape, or form. If you notice, Mina and Che Young are wrapped in each other's arms, which they absolutely knew what they were doing. Once is, you know, we've all seen the memes, twice absolutely saw this and said, we definitely have to do this. 
Bravo. Then if you notice to their right, we have Dion reading a book, but Tsui is on top of her, so they are entangled there. Then if you look at Jihyo, she's actually asleep but listening to music. There's a headset in her ear, and it's connected to Jung Young. So Jihyo and Jung Young are listening to the same music, the same song, at the same time. Then you have Sana, and then you have Momo, who are seemingly taking a picture together. As you can see, Momo is doing this. She's posing for the photo. And then, of course, Nayeon and Jungyoung are connected because they are holding hands. So they're going through all of this hard time together, but they're still all entangled with each other. Remember, entangled, red string of fate. And they're having a good time despite the troubles that they're in right now. But notice we see two versions of Jung Young here. One that's below the deck in the boat, which we'll interpret as the past. And look at her outfit. Notice this outfit right here because it's different than the outfit that we are about to see. The outfit that we see here is when Jung Young is on the lighthouse. So she's not on the boat anymore. She's on the lighthouse, which is on the shore where they are headed, which could be interpreted as the future. This is also shown in the bridge where they show the boat almost making it to the lighthouse and to the shore, basically showing us that the members are getting through the storms and they are almost making it. More on this particular scene in just a bit. But then we get to the shore, which I interpret as the future, and everything that is happening on the shore is great. The members are all together, they're dancing, they're having a great time, they're hugging each other, they're again entangled with each other. It's clear skies, it's sunny, they're on the beach. It's good. It's a great, bright future. And it goes with the lyrics, deep down, I know we'll make it through just like we always do. With that line, just like we always do, kind of implying about the past, what they've been through already. They've made it through a lot with each other before. But that brings us to the present, and that is the scene where they are on top of the boat. No longer inside, but on top. And this happens after the storm and after they metaphorically fall into the ocean. We see them all fall into the ocean, but while they are underwater, we can see the red string of fate attaching to them all, meaning they are tied together via fate. And during this time when they're underwater, they all rise up together, the string of fate tying them together. And once they get above water, we can see the red strings all go back into the boat. And notice in this scene, when they come up, it's all sunny. The ocean is calm. You can even kind of hear them depict the calmness with this scene here. You can hear the waves aren't crashing. They're not going crazy. The birds are chirping. It's very sunny, meaning they have overcome the rough time that they were in together. This is where the members all come up and they are now on top of the boat, which can be interpreted as the present because they are not yet to the shore, the future. That's why I believe that this is depicted as a past, present, and a future. Why show the future though? Well, because they're not done yet. They're not at the shore yet. They are still twice. They renewed their contracts not too long ago. They are still together. And even I think when they do get to the shore, even in the future, I think they will still be together, which is depicted perfectly here. Even if they eventually aren't twice, they're all going to still love each other and be tied together by that red string of fate, being connected to each other at all points in time during their life, loving each other, being each other's true loves, because they are destined to be together, which is what they are depicting in this music video. They are basically saying twice, the members, our fate, our destiny. They're supposed to be there because of fate. And again, if you look at the final scene of the trailer, they are on top of the boat. They're not under the boat and it's not stormy outside. They're not on the shore, but they are on top of the boat. And when they're on top of the boat, it's sunny, right? They're absorbing the sun. They're soaking it in. They're taking pictures with each other. They're laughing. They're smiling because right now in the present time, they're together and they know that no matter what is ahead in the future, just like they've done in the past, they'll be there for each other and they'll help each other get through it. And that is why this is just one of the most beautiful and most creative music videos and songs that I have really ever seen. And it's honestly very, very touching to see how much they love each other and just how close they are together, how intimate. And it's just, as a Twice fan, I love to see this. I think this was very deep and I love, absolutely love looking deep into the meaning behind music videos like this. But let me know your own personal interpretation in the comments down below and let me know what you thought of my interpretation and just the music video and the song overall. I'll be doing a lot more breakdowns like this about future music videos, so if you want those, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all in the next video.